it's a um, it's a Showtime card that's headlined by um, three one hundred and fifty four pounders that many feel should be um, fighting each other. This is his last fight right here. Oh shit! When he fought uh, Charles Hadley, I was actually there uh, covering that fight live. Um, October the fourteenth, twenty seventeen. You're gonna have uh, Iris Lindy Lara, WBA Super World Champion versus uh, Terrell Goucher. You're gonna have this fight we're talking about, Jamel Charlo, WBC one hundred and fifty four pound champion. Um, versus Erickson Lubin. And then you're going to have IBF, 154-pound champion, Jared Swift Heard versus Austin, no doubt, Trout. Um, T Street Controversy. And this is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live right now on September the 5th, 2017. And the press conference for this fight is actually tomorrow. And um, I'm going to be there covering it. So, basically, I, I-, I want to believe that this is a tournament, a little mini, un, you know, um unannounced tournament that these guys are doing that somewhere in the future in the near future especially for Iris Lindy Laura you know these guys are going to be fighting each other now Erickson Lubin in fact let's go look at the fighters real quick let's go look at the fighters um as I said it's going to be on um, Showtime October the 14th the press conference is tomorrow um right now on September the 5th so the press conference is on uh September the 6th so we're going to talk to these um fighters and we're going to try to see, you know, if we can get one of them at least to talk about like, yo, is the plan for you guys, you know, to to, um, you know, like fight in the future. So let's go take a little look at it real quick. He's 29 and 0 with 14 KOs. Remember, his brother is the WBC mandatory for um, the winner of Canelo versus Golovkin, even though Canelo was not fight for the WBC title. Now, he has 14 KOs. He's the one that's been known, you know, to be the more of the boxer and his brother more of the uh, power puncher. Looking at his resume, he's fighting Erickson Lubin. You know, last fight against him, a Don King fighter. He's suing Don King, Charles Hatley. I was at that press conference. It was crazy. You know, um, John Jackson in a fight where he was losing before the KO. Joe Kim Alcine, Venice Martirosian, and then um, Gabriel Rosado as far as known, um, like, names. Now, he was inactive, um, meaning only one fight last year, John Jackson. I, I forget if this was the brother that had the issue with the eye or, you know, they had like LASIK eye surgery or if it was um, the older brother, I mean, the, um, not the older, the twins, <laughs> the, uh, the, the bigger brother, the one that's at um, um, 160 pound now. So you have Erickson Lubin. Um, I've been noticing a lot of people on social media has been saying, you know, that they feel Erickson Lubin is being rushed. He's 21 years old, 18 and 0 with 13 KOs. And in my personal opinion, I feel that two years ago, three years ago, Al Heyman wouldn't have made this fight. You know, in fact, you know, this guy would have probably went on, you know, like normal Heyman fighters would have done and fight a whole bunch of, you know, journeymen until they got their record to a nice safe spot to get a title shot. But since this guy is the number one contender, you know, and Heyman, he's 21 years old. Heyman is just throwing him out there, but he is the, you know, the mandatory. Now, looking, you know, at his resume, obviously there's nothing there, and this is by far going to be his biggest test. It's crazy, right? When you really, really, really think about it. You know, so even though we may know a little bit about Eric Lubin, you know, as a fighter, he's a young, you know, um, a prospect southpaw, and he is kind of sharp. It's still we can only go off of the 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 competition and it's just not, you know, much there. So, you know, you can't be mad at him, you know, having this fight so early in his career. But at the same time, you know, it's just like, well, is it too, you know, like what happens if he loses? You know, if he loses, he's still young. You know, he can recoup. You know, he can you know, there's other places he can go. And let's go take a little quick look at the. um landscape of 154 pounds real quick before i forget now looking at the 154 pound division as we talked about you have three of these guys three different champions right fighting on the same card but not fighting each other jamel charlo obviously fighting erickson lubin wbc iris landy laura you know fighting um terrell goucher and then you have jared swift heard fighting austin trout all on the same card. Then you have Miguel Cotto. Don't expect for WBA, WBO Miguel Cotto to fight any of these guys. So we're not even going to, you know, talk about, you know, WBO. But when it comes to Jamel Charlo and Erickson Lubin, if Erickson Lubin wins, right? If Erickson Lubin wins, expect for him to go the old top 15 route. 
you know, and maybe fight a guy like Venice Martirosian, you know, if they can get a deal done. But Venice Martirosian is no longer an Al Heyman fighter and pretty much was clowning and talking all kind of shit about Al Heyman on, on, on Twitter. But imagine, right, if Erickson Lubin was to win, he would be like a Javante Davis, like where they would probably, you know, have him fight maybe Ishe Smith. You know, or they probably would have him fight Julian Williams or maybe, you know, a Jack Kuke because they're going to say, well, he's a young champion. They want to bring him or bring him along the right way. You see a Sergey Rabchenko, you know, compared to if Jamel Charlo wins, then unless I, I, I forget, but I will make sure I know by tomorrow's press conference, unless he's the Charlo that's trained by Ronnie Shields, who also trains Iris Lindy Lara, then there's no reason why the winner of Iris Lindy Lara versus Terrell Goucher or the winner of Jared Hurd versus Austin Trout, even if it is Austin Trout, goes on the fight. Um, um, the Jamel Charlo, if he wins, you know, Jamel Charlo, it's time to start at like, like pushing his career, you know, along, you know, further and making way for the other guys, you know, um, young Heyman guys, you know, to, to, to get to that level. It's time for these guys, basically, these Charlos to step up the star status. So, like I said, I'm, I'm really going to make sure I try to find out tomorrow if this is like some type of unofficial tournament going on and if these guys have had any talks with Heyman about, well, yeah, they're going to fight each other in the future. Also, you have Demetrius Andre. You may wonder, well, why not Demetrius Andre versus Jamel Charlo or Erickson Lubin winner? Well, because when you're the WBA world champion and not the WBA super world champion, you can't unify with this belt. You would have to drop this title to fight for this title, this title, or this title. You know, so Andre's in a situation where he has to fight Laura or he has to fight, you know, either, you know, either drop this title to fight any of these guys, you know, and he's talking about fighting David Lemieux, you know, and based pretty much saying that these like he's looking for big money, you know, but he's talking like these guys are not really worth the money. So I don't know what's going on with Andre. We just don't know. But maybe he will be here at this fight, too. You know, it would be in his best interest to be at this fight. Maybe a press conference tomorrow, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it, you know? I highly, highly doubt it. Also, I'm going to make sure I got my rankings taken care of. Damn it. I'm, I'm going to make sure I have my rankings taken care of on my website ASAP because I hate using other people's shit. You know, wait, no, we don't know. We need that. Oh, man, I'm fucking stuff up. I'm fucking stuff up. Hold on one minute. We got to get that back. We got to get that back. There we go. There we go. All right. So, you know, it's going to be on October the 14th on um, Showtime. What the hell? Yeah, I'm just messing up. I'm just messing all up. There we go. We're going to get more fluid with it, you know, as uh, as uh, time goes on. But, yeah, October the 14th on Showtime, here's Lindy Lara versus Terrell Goucher for the WBA Super World title. Jamel Charlo versus Eric Lubin for the WBC title, and Jared Hurd versus Austin Trout for the um for the uh, IBF title, 154 pounds. And also, you know, expect for them to add maybe a Peter Quillen on the card, maybe. You know, maybe on like the Showtime Extreme, you know, or the Stream card. Expect for them to, you know, add like two more, you know, um um fighters in like showcase fights on the card, you know, soon. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe.